Hi, it's Satori, the love messenger and the creator of the Satori Method. Listen, today I'm going to share with you something, a question that I get very often. I get it from men and I get it from women. That because I get it predominantly from men, I'll, I'll get the focus around it for men, but I want you to know that if it's the opposite, that you're watching this video right now and it's the opposite for you, then just flop it, okay? So the question I ask, you know, how can I have, you know, get this, as much sex as I possibly can without being rejected? And it, it's, it's a problem that I, you know, obviously happens in most relationships. One person wants more sex than the other, or there's some kind of conf conflict or confusion re re around it. So here's the thing that I want to teach you today. And it's something that I want you to pay really close attention to because once you understand this principle, this is not, you know, I'm not promoting or selling here a, uh, you know, how do I get sex with, with strangers. This is considering that you are in a relationship, you are dating, you're married, you're in some kind of form, in some form of relationship where, you know, you know that you're more than just friends. Got it? Okay, so here's the thing, you know, going towards conversation with, uh, you know, with the men towards women. So a lot of times, you know, you know, when men go and touch women, they always get, oh, not always, but you know, very often they get this, this shrug of the shoulders or you know, move, removing the hands or, or the don't touch me or something like that. And so what is really happening? What's, what's the trigger? What's the conscious or unconscious trigger going on in the woman's head? Well, she's like, well, you know, why is he touching me? You know, does he want sex? Um, I'm not really up for sex right now. And so it's the feeling of like, you know, removing your hand or removing your touch or your, your closeness out of the fear that they have to do something to satisfy you, which they may not be ready for or they may feel other things. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in just a moment. So this is a conversation that you really want to have with your woman. It's not something that you want to uh, just do on your own. You just want to have as, as, a, as a conversation piece where you can both feel confident and feel calm about this and not have it be an emotional issue, a charge that is just running your relationship. Where you're not approaching your woman because your fear, your fear of being rejected is there and you know there's a conflict going on. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get to the, to the understanding that number one is you need to understand that if your touch is based upon that you want something from her, not that you're giving something to her, there's going to be an, an automated response of, you know, don't touch me or don't do that or, you know, I, I don't want to right now. Or, I'm too tired or whatever conversation is going to happen. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to come from the place that you can touch her anywhere you want. You can come from behind when she's standing in the kitchen. And you can squeeze her boobs. You can touch her butt. You can do whatever you want, but it will not lead to sex like you don't have that expectation and she knows it and you know it that way she can start to feel calm and peaceful and feel tr trust and safe that your touch means that you're touching her just because you genuinely care about her you just want her to feel your, your connection she, you just want to have you know a, a fun time with her and she doesn't have to worry about what your touch really means the other place to come from is from the place of that you're not trying to use her for your pleasure. You actually genuinely coming there because you want to give something. So here's the thing. For the woman's sake, she's going to decide three things. And the three things is when, where, and how. Now what does that mean? Well, when it happens, where it happens, and how it happens. So, you know, when it happens, she can say, hey honey, you know, if you actually ask for, you know, I, I love to just take you right now. I just want to have sex with you right now. I just want to make love to you. Whatever you say, you know, she's going to decide, you know, you know what? I, um, I would love to have sex with you, you know, maybe in an hour or in five minutes or tomorrow morning or tomorrow night, whatever that is. She, she decides when or where, honey, meet me in the bedroom in 10 minutes or get naked and see me in the shower in 12 hours. I don't know. So she decides when and where and how. She may say, hey, you know, I'm really tired tonight. You know, I would love for you to go down on me and maybe tomorrow we'll have the whole enchilada. Got it? So whatever that is, 
there is the piece of not having to feel rejected. She won't say no, but she decides when, where, and how. And it's kind of a you know, touchy kind of conversation, but it can't come from a, from a place of that you're attacking or judging or criticizing. It's a conversation you both have, so you both understand that the feeling, the pain of being rejected, it's, it's a hard you know, piece. It's a really difficult thing in, such, in, in any relationship to feel rejected. And the other piece is to understand that not every person is going to want to have sex right when you want it. And if you can touch your woman where she can know that your touch does not mean that it's going to lead to sex or it's not going to lead to that you want something from her, but you're actually giving something, she can start getting comfortable with your touch no matter where it is. Okay, so that was my little tip for the day. I want you to really think about it, have the conversation about it, and really, step one, have the conversation, practice, two, to touch her and have fun with it, and three, get used to asking for what you want. Asking for sex, but don't have the expectation or the demand or get pissed if you don't get it. So you have the conversation that you know that she's going to tell you when, where, and how. And when that happens, you will let go of a lot of the, the tension and a lot of the rejection and a lot of the fear and a lot of the worries that you have around sex. Okay, so I hope that helped you. hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this for you. Until next time, have a great time and live fully, love deeply, and go and make your legacy happen today. Bye.